Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week on Friday, in my part of the world, Microsoft released two new dev and beta channel insider preview builds. For the dev channel, that's 26,200.5761. And for the beta channel, that would be 26,120.5761. And as Microsoft has been doing of late, the builds are almost identical and mirror images of one another. So just a quick overview as to what's new in these two new builds. Now, first of all, Microsoft says it's beginning to gradually roll out the ability to resume using your apps from your Android phone on your Windows 11 PC. And I have posted on this briefly when it was still a hidden feature in the Insider program. So Microsoft says to start with, you will be able to resume or continue listening to your favorite Spotify tracks and episodes right from where you left off on the Spotify app on your Android phone. And Microsoft says, first start listening to one of your favorite songs or episodes in the Spotify app on your Android phone. And then on your PC, a resume alert will appear on your taskbar. And then when you click on that alert, Spotify's desktop app will open and the same track will now continue playing on your PC. And Microsoft does say that if the Spotify app is not installed, on your PC. When you click on the alert, it will initiate a one-click installation from the Microsoft Store and will automatically download and open the app for you. And then you will then be prompted to sign into your Spotify account. And Microsoft also mentions that you need to use the same Spotify account on both your Android phone and your PC, which I think kind of goes without saying. And then the next one, Microsoft says it's improving the battery iconography on the lock screen and I've also posted on this previously where it was a hidden feature so Microsoft says it's new and improved battery icons so that would mean you get a different color denoting the charge state and you get the percentage which I think is a definite move in the right direction so it's new and improved battery icons have been designed to communicate the battery status of your PC with just a quick glance and it's now available on the lock screen and that's a nice move I think and then Microsoft says the following changes and improvements are rolling out for agent in settings on Copilot plus PCs. So that's the AI agent using AI in your settings search where it now provides a direct navigation link to the corresponding settings page from the agent search results. And then just to mention the next, Microsoft says for Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PCs, it's now simplified the settings, controls, and added streamlined ways to configure Auto SR directly from Toast notifications. So that's automatic super resolution. The next is Microsoft says that it's begun trying out the ability to pin your apps in the Windows Share window which I think is a nice touch. And then over and above that, we've also got a couple of fixes rolling out for both builds, and we also get a handful of known issues because we are still in preview here, so that is expected. And then for the beta channel, there is a snipping tool update that I posted on last week. I'll leave the video linked, so I'm not going to get into it in this video. There's now window mode screen recording in the snipping tool. Go check the video out for more info. So that's more or less what's new for the Devon Beta channel builds that rolled out late last week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.